Hey, the Fox is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the time that you're taking out to share my videos, give me a thumbs up, or even, you know, showing your show of support through dropping the comments that you do. is truly appreciated and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you're comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards. Uh, positive direction also if you feel like the videos is very informative to you or just gives you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through trying times that need spiritual guidance or need confirmation or validation towards the life path and uh soul purpose please go ahead and share while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you always again for uh the support and it's truly appreciated our our community is continually to grow on a daily basis which i'm truly appreciated of and i hope you're able to you know resonate with the content of my video and today in the background i'm listening to a uh, meditation i'm listening to is called heart chakra healing chants seed mantra yam chanting meditation mantra med meditation music and i will post that link in the description box below oh lord the, <laughs> the lights are starting to flicker again um today my video is about twin flame 101 moon phases of aries and taurus is having you on a download overload y'all i had to take me a break yesterday i was just blessed that i put out so many videos the day before that it still overlap for the, the you know the next day so i hate you know taking that day off and y'all don't have any videos to look forward to or to watch or whatever on the next day so it's just like today um, I don't got, went through so many different, um, signs. It's just like I, I, this morning I woke up with a massive headache. It was just like straight pressure coming from the third eye. And it was just so much that, you know, between these moon phases that I'm going through, or even with you going through, is it's like bringing up old wounds. It's like having you really like dive deep, even though you, you know, you're releasing a lot during a daily basis, because especially if you're putting that, you know, towards like an affirmation of you healing every day, you know, um, I always ask God just to help me keep healing and, you know, allowing me to be able to acknowledge the things that I'm still holding on to that I, you know, is more healthy to be able to release and like going part ways with, you know, a lot of us struggle with a lot of different things that could have been very traumatizing in our lives that, you know, we feel like we're, you know, we're healing from, but there's more stuff that comes up towards the surface. And it's not just the fact that you you know you're constantly thinking about it or it could be you know at least on my part i can say on my situation i don't know how your situation is but it's just like the more and more you're coming to understanding about certain things sometimes we we fall short on our human you know our human reacts at actions or responses on how we deal with you know different pain of abuse that has occurred in our lives and you know we're bringing that to our attention you know it's just the fact is we have blessings heading our way and for us to be truly knowing the reason why we had to go through all our things to be able to head towards the blessings, we have to be able to acknowledge the pain that we went through, being able to part the ways, understanding why it had to happen in the first place. Because sometimes we're so fascinated or fatuated about the reason why we went through things that we fall victim on certain things, but that we don't realize why that these certain things had to happen. You know, there's a lot of things that has occurred in our lives that, you know, especially a lot of, some of y'all have shared with me. Um, I don't want you to feel like it was your fault, like you had to go through this because it was your fault about anything. There's a reason why certain things had to occur in your life. That is your way of helping the, you know, the root of your family, being able to heal on certain certain things that had to occur in your life for you to be able to be deeply wounded but you also be able to fix that you know that pain that has been carried on from gener generation to generation and especially along past lives as well so it's just like dealing with these moon phases is allowing you to see different layers of your sides of yourself because we have many selves you know we're sitting in like you know 12 probably about 12 12 to 13 different 
past lives that we have endured, there there is a lot of things that you know we fell short on trying to heal from the last lives that we have to be able to deal with and come to terms with on this life, you know, for us to be able to cut those cords. So it's just like yesterday I was feeling really bad yesterday. You know, I was still doing my little one on ones, you know, uh trying to share as much as I could on my um group page, my supporting hail group page. If you would love to, you know, send a friend request out to there, you know, it's 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 starting up because it's only been open for like about two and a half weeks, so it's still kind of slow. But I said I just didn't want to lose face on that because at first I was getting frustrated because it was like a certain amount of people that are on there there you know there's some that are sharing and some that are not you know because it's just like people don't understand when you're on that group page you can see how many people have seen it and sometimes it allows you to see the people that have seen you know the uh post that's being made and you're just not saying that thing. you know so i was getting frustrated but i had to understand you know if you really want these things to you know manifest because it's not like i'm doing it for my just for myself it's just to be able to help other hayokas that you know we're in a lot of us are introverts so it's just to be able to push you out your comfort zone to be able to get you to talk about certain things that occurs in your life that you're trying to heal from or things that you're acknowledging that is actually happening in your life that others might be going through but a lot of us don't have that voice that courage of that voice to be able to speak out and say, hey, I'm going through certain things like this. You know, is anybody else dealing with this? So it's, a, you know, it's just a lot of my love bugs. You know, y'all, I love every each and every one of y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I know there's a lot of stuff that we're still, you know, we're still healing from. You know, a lot of us, it's just like we don't allow too many people to get close to us. Or, you know, we get kind of frigid, frigid when people get close to us. And it's okay. But, you know, universe has guided me to do this platform to help a lot of, not just myself, but help a lot of other, you know, introverts or hayokas or any different type of empath or light workers to be able to express their feelings, being able to have an open discussion. Everything is private, you know, it's a private group, you know, um, to be able to help others along the way. You know, if anybody's going through certain things or certain things occurs, you know, especially do, during these moon phases, a lot of us have, you know, different things that we're going through. And sometimes we fall short on understanding why we're going through certain things. And it's more intense on certain days than it is the other. Mm -hmm. So it's just like they're at, asking me to be out of my comfort zone, to be able to, you know, push this platform out a little bit, long, you know, further on different social media. So it's the only thing I really deal with is like Facebook and here. So it's just like a lot of stuff I woke up with and I went really went through a lot of emotions today. So it was just like certain things that was, you know, I, I didn't realize I was still dealing with or, you know, still healing from, you know, and I try not to get frustrated with myself. But yesterday it was like I wanted to do more. I wanted to be able to do videos, but it was like my body was hurting so bad. And it was just like that's universe, that girl, if you don't take a break. But I woke up this morning with all these different emotions and you know thinking about my mom because i know my mom's birthday is coming up on the 13th of next month so it is just like i always get like this towards the middle of july early august you know so it was just a lot of stuff like that i was going through different emotions because it's like if you're going through a lot of things in your life you know and your 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 loved ones is past it's always hard to lose a loved one but it's when you're your parents you know um it's kind of hard especially when I'm, you know when you're dealing with a lot of stuff so it, it's just like it's just a blessing i have to look at it in a positive way you know i still had that spiritual connection with my mom that you know she allows me to be able to communicate with her so it's just like lately i've been seeing a lot of visions of her having a lot of fond memories that used to make me laugh and all that stuff so i know it's just like you know she's like hey i know what time of month this is i want you to stay strong you know so it's like i i end up talking to her and my you know my grandmother uh, a lot lately other than just my dad so it's just a lot of the stuff that we're that's occurring in our lives you know it's it's a lot bringing a lot of things that you know stay hidden you know it stays embedded that uh that they're wanting you to acknowledge you know there's a lot of different things that is occurring in your life you have vivid dreams so allow you to see certain things or know certain things that you know you might need to be able to take a, you know a hold of you know it's just a lot of times we're on this journey and it is like it can be very terrifying because you don't know what the future lies you don't know where the universe is aiming you to but as in our human form we get scared instead of having faith in the universe that they're not going to send us somewhere like 
you know, pushing us, taking us out the pastures. And a lot of times we feel that way. It's like, oh, God, what are you doing? You know, why are you having me go through these certain places? But a lot of times we have to be able to go through those certain lessons to be able to get the root of why we're experiencing things. It's just like I was telling y'all the other day. We connect with a lot of people as well. Because there's a lot of times we fall short and, and could be doing things and pressing stuff out. Because that's why we have to be very mindful of how we project others, not judge other people. You know, even though it's hard to do that, you know, especially if you're, you've been very hurt by people, you know, we tend to project a lot of things out. But we have to be very mindful and use discernment about the things, how we talk to other people about certain things, as well as the universe. Because that only hinders us and keeps us in a certain situation longer than we have to be. So it's a lot of times they will connect us with people that, hey, this is what you're doing as well. Or, you know, if there's some people that are struggling with painful situations, they will have you connect with certain people so you can be able to see how it looks on a different end. Like, you're like, hey, you know, it's not like, oh, God, you know, am I sounding like this or I'm sounding like that? It's not for you to be able to sound bad, but God and universe allows certain people for you to connect with just because, hey, you see how this person is healing about certain things. This is the things I'm trying to guide you to do. Or if these are the things that that you're tending to not let go of see how this person is handling this this is how you look like so this is the things that you need to help them heal as well as you're bringing to the forefront of you and you being able to heal as well so there's a lot of things you know i, I tell y'all I, I keep it real see as soon as i said that the lights start flashing as soon as i pop my hands up um you know i won't lie I, I'm, I'm not gonna i have no reason to you know it's still hard to deal with certain things i deal with but i'm being honest with myself to say you know what every day i'm taking that affirmation to let me know whatever is still deeply rooted that i need to come to terms with i am working on that you know it's just like you have to be able to keep it real with yourself you know the only person you're cheating is yourself anyway it's like oh yeah i'm healed all the way yeah i'm healing Yes, you know, it's not as hard as it used to be when I first started this. There's times, you know, I could be talking about certain things and I would start crying because it was really hard to deal with. And, you know, there are certain things that still do come up that I cry for, you know, and I'm just really asking the universe to please forgive me, allowing me to forgive myself. Because first and foremost, you always need to be able to forgive yourself for going through things. And it's not like you're trying to attack yourself, but a lot of times we hold on to pain like a security blanket and you need to be able to say you know what yes th this did situation really did hurt me but I have so many blessings that are in the future I can't be able to enjoy those if I'm still holding on to these because God really God and universe really wants to be able to bless us in so many ways and at times we feel nervous you know or upset because God and universe has not allowed us to step into our blessings yet they send different signs that, hey, these things are on its way. Hey, it's coming towards you. But if you're still holding on to anger or holding on to a painful past that you cannot change or rearrange, you have to be able to come to terms like, yes, I went through this. Yes, I understand this was a painful situation. You wouldn't wish this on anybody else. But I want to allow myself to heal. So you have to be able to forgive yourself as well as the person that has put that affliction on you. And you got to forgive yourself first because you allow these things to keep continuing to hurt you, even though it's past already. So it's just a blessing to me where I can connect with people in different ways for me to be able to see certain things. Because a lot of times it's not you're not just connecting with people because of the things that they're doing. There's a lot of times you have healed from certain things and you might need to help them do the same thing or like look at the situations they, they're they going through. And, you know, I never tell somebody, hey, you know, why are you so, you know, tripping off of this? You know, you never know what kind of things that this has really messed somebody up mentally and emotionally, sexually, whatever. You really never know how it affected that person in that way. So. Let, I'm glad I can be that blessing and be able to give that words of encouragement to somebody say don't cheat yourself out of certain things that are heading towards you you know you're only hurting yourself by doing this not the person they put this on you because they, you know you know those people out there probably trying to find other victims to deal with or they're still trying to heal from the things that they placed upon anybody you know well as yourself you know so those are a lot of times we're able to you know the, the moon phases and stuff is having you have a lot of downloads like very intense downloads so it's just like a blessing to me when it's just like, especially right now, I'm having pressure on my third eye. So it's a lot of things they're asking me to, you know, to be able to project out towards different people. And it's a blessing to be able to do that. 
So it's just like each and every day, you long, long as you know you're put, pressing that towards a mantra or a you know affirmation towards yourself, all these different things that has happened to my life, I want to come to terms with it. Because a lot of times, universe will send us signs like, hey, you've been holding on to these things for too long. But even though you're on divine timing, they want you to be able to, you know, like, hey, we understand this really has affected you in this way. But we really want better things for you. But we can't allow these things to come to forefront for you if you're still, you know, reminiscing about, you know, keep reading, rereading that old chapter when they're trying to tell you, hey, this chapter is ended. We wanted you to start this new chapter, but you're still rereading the pain of the past. So they're giving you all these downloads right now for you to be able to come to terms with certain things that are happening into your life. They're trying to prepare you for it, whether if it's something good or it's something bad, because a lot of things it's going to have to go through a series of events for things to happen and things that, you know, that needs to heal along that way, or they're trying to prepare you to be strong in certain aspects of your life. It can be very foretelling to you that's going to be able to uplift your future or reflect on it as well. So I hope you were able to, you know, uh, resonate with the content of my video. I want to give a, a post notification shout out to Miss Katie. You know, you're going through a lot of stuff right now, but you are actually healing on all directions and systems. I'm so proud of you for those as well. And Lost Puppy, the same for you as well. You have grown a lot in the short period of time I've, I've, you know, I've met you, or virtually met you, and I'm very proud of you myself. You know, we all go through a series of pain and abuse. You know, you, we're always our worst critics. You know, we're like, oh, I still need healing to do. Hey, there's always more, more room for healing for each and every person to be able to go through because that makes you a better person. That helps you ascend closer to your higher self. So don't ever put yourself down because you're still going through that. Everything is a learning experience. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line and let me know if you resonate with this. It will be truly a blessing to me as well as yourself. And give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. Hit that notification bell and subscribe if you haven't. And know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always something, uh, someone out there praying for better days. And make sure you send out love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know when someone's, your kind words really take somebody a long way. I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.